Good morning, everybody. I'm uh, honored to be here today at this World Engineering Convention um, in Melbourne here, dubbed as one of the most livable cities in the world. We are at an interesting crossroad today between our need to prosper and grow economically versus our need to live in a sustainable planet that is conducive for future generation as well. The reality is that we must continue to innovate and pursue to meet our objectives to find the right balance. And that's why I'm so delighted that uh, today the sustainability is at the top of the agenda. We innovate to lead the way to deliver a more a sustainable built environment, not just because of regulations, but because it is the right thing to do for our communities, for our businesses, and for our future planet. The GFG Alliance, which is now employing some 35,000 strong men and women across 30 different countries around the world, and today has a rolling steel mill capacity of almost 18 million tons. GFG Alliance, or Liberty Steel Group, was founded by a visionary, Mr. Sanjeev Gupta, who is now the executive chairman of GFG Alliance. Sanjeev is a man with a strong entrepreneurial spirit, uh, who is committed to reviving the industry in developed countries, particularly in some of the failing steel-making assets around the world. He has the passion for what industry represents, which is growth, opportunity, and prosperity. And that is why I am so delighted to partner with him and represent him here in Australia in my capacity as the CEO for InfraBuild. Here in Australia, InfraBuild uh, has a proud history of steel making, processing and distribution and recycling dating back over 100 years. From rural fencing uh, to nation building infrastructure, our steel has helped build our national freeways, our schools, our hospitals, our commercial and industrial buildings, our homes and our offices. In Sydney, InfraBuild delivered some 45,000 tonnes of steel, reinforced steel, steel largely uh, manufactured from recycled uh, metals, and consisting some 77 million um, individual items to an award-winning Barangaroo, which resulted in delivering 20% reduction in, car uh, in, in embodied carbon. Here in Melbourne, we are providing some 100,000 tonnes of steel to the Westgate tunnels. So I'm filled with pride in the role we are playing in these landmark nation-building projects, mainly made out of recycled steels. But this is just a beginning to a long journey, ensuring that we have a sustainable products sustainable supply chains and sustainability at the engineering core of construction will be critical to ensuring the delivery of sustainable built environment for our future. And I'm filled with optimism from what I've seen, the presentations over the last two days, uh, the world's leading engineers and opportunity presented by us all, working collaboratively to achieve our shared sustainability goals. It is clear to me that we have a proud manufacturing industry and strong property and construction centers. The challenges ahead require engineers that aren't afraid to innovate and challenge the norms to deliver better outcomes for Australia. Our business is based on values of change, family, and sustainability. To us, sustainability is much more than just green credentials it is actually, for us, becoming slowly a way of life. It is about ensuring communities continue to have employment opportunities, safe working environments, and of course, operate with as little impact to the environment as possible. This is a holistic view that we have embraced 
to meeting our sustainability targets. And therefore, nothing is off the table. In fact, recently in Europe Steel Conference in Milan, uh, Sanjeev announced an ambitious target to become the first steel making company of a large scale to be carbon neutral by 2030. This is a very ambitious target and there are strong strategies behind this uh, goal. The wall steel industry uh, accounts for something like seven to nine percent of global direct emissions from use of fossil fuels. So it is clear we have a serious challenge ahead of us, but equally an outstanding opportunity to make a real and positive difference to the community and the world we live in. One of the most practical ways to reduce the emission is to reuse, reuse already what we have. Infrabuild, we have sought to grow opportunity and have named our green steel strategy. This strategy is unique manufacturing approach based on recycled scrap metal in, in, in sustainable furnaces, uh, ultimately to be powered by renewable energy rather than making steel from traditional blast furnaces. For customers, recycled steel made the same demand quality uh, specifications and has the potential to contribute to the green credentials of Australia's major projects, both in terms of percentage of recycled products and embodied carbon. Our commitment to the strategy is real and tangible. GFG Alliance has recently installed test rigs in South Australia, South Australian deserts, that will lay the foundations for one of the largest solar farms in Australia named Kaltana. Some 280 megawatts of solar farm is expected to start construction next year that will directly plug into the national energy grid uh, supported by GFG's Playford Battery Project. The Playford Battery uh, Project will capture the energy from Kaltana site uh, to be used in the complementary power sources as, the, as and when the grid needs it. That means eventually, and essentially what we are trying to do is to plow back the energy of renewable energy back into our steel making business. And that is in a way in essence capturing our green steel strategy. This is truly exciting uh, times and demonstrates our commitment to working towards sustainable industry. Of course, this is only one part of the puzzle. I'm, already, I'm proud to say that Infrabuild has a long history to innovation and has been widely adopted across the industry. Uh, just you heard the speaker speaking before me, we pioneered uh, polymer injection technology, which, was, which we de developed in collaboration with the University of New South Wales. The technology uses uh, recycled tires in steel making processes and reducing the amount of injected carbons required uh, by up to 20%, uh, improving electricity efficiencies by some 3%, and removing millions of used tires from the landfill. More recently, we developed an economical new steel th uh, that is up to 50% stronger and 30% lighter in, than the conventional reinforcing steel. This added strength means that engineers require less steel when designing structures such as load-bearing concrete columns. The products are efficient, more efficient uh, to warehouse and freight it across and to handle it, leading to a reduction in carbon emissions of up to 35% per ton in manufacturing and significantly reduces the carbon footprint in terms of truck delivering and moving products to the site. Infrabuild facilities are strategically located close to markets and the key customer areas. And we have teams of local knowledge and expertise to support and localized engineering fabrication and construction businesses. We also have unrivaled capability to develop and deliver customer prefabricated and processed steel uh, solutions, a massive prefabricated prefabricated pile cages and roll out reinforcing bar carpets to pre-cambered structured beams, which Matteo will speak after me about a bit. These solutions streamline on-site construction, saving time 
and reducing the congestions and waste while improving safety. With tenants and customers demanding greener, cleaner building, we must continue to work through ways to reduce environment impacts on the materials and construction methods we use. But to do this, we must, close, we must be close to our customers. Our new name, InfraBuild, is essentially a combination of two words, uh, infrastructure and building, with our tagline, building possibilities. It reflects our focus on collaborating with our customers to help them make their vision possible. This is, to me, is our priority, and we will forever be trying and pursue to work closer to our customers, meeting their expectations, and connecting with them to bring about a better way of life. I feel we all must challenge each ourselves to invest, to collaborate, to innovate, and to lead the way on sustainability, not because it is mandated by some law or regulations, but because we owe a great deal of moral responsibility to our future generation. And I'm proud to say that InfraBuild is fully committed to this objective of becoming carbon neutral in future. Together, we can make a sustainable world. And I thank you for your audience. Thank you very much.